Hi, my name is Marie DeForge, and I wanted to talk to you today about medicine paintings. So let's begin with what I believe is a medicine painting. To me, a medicine painting is a piece of artwork that holds healing energies within it that the viewer or the receiver of the painting can feel within them when they look at it and even when they hold it. Um, I've had clients who've received a healing painting from me and I've heard responses such as, um, oh, my hands are tingling when I hold this or I don't want to put it down or, oh, my heart just swelled open. Um, or sometimes they, they also will get a message from the being that's on the painting that will speak to them. So I want to show you a quick painting here. This is one that I just did and it's called um, My Love is as Bright and Everlasting as the Stars. And she told me this as I was creating her and she wanted me to put these stars in her eyes and then the name of the painting came to me in that way. And that's a little bit about how medicine paintings will work. I realized in the last year or so that the paintings I was creating were in fact medicine paintings. For me, a medicine painting is when the intention is placed onto the canvas. The image is used to represent a situation or thing or person that needs to be healed. Affirmations, mantras, prayer dots, intentional choice of colors and symbols all can create a medicine painting. I take it just a bit further as I have been on the spiritual path of a light worker since 2008 and began my training and then my own teaching of several holistic healing modalities such as shamanism, usui reiki, color healing, crystal and sound healing, amongst several others. As a master teacher, of energy work and healing, I channel these energies and that of the divine feminine and masculine and direct these energies onto the canvas before, during, and after the creation process. I have been told numerous times that to look at my art can be healing for those who are open to energy healing. Also, people who purchase my art, especially when it's been commissioned especially for or by them, that when they hold it, it's hard to put down their hands tingle, their hearts open, the essence of the being on the canvas speaks to them, the symbols or codes will draw the future owner to a piece as these are often referred to as light language and can be very personal in meaning. My process is to create ceremony when I'm about to create a medicine painting. I do this by first clearing the energy of the canvas, the workspace, and myself with white sage and sometimes with palo santo or incense. I set an intention or keywords or symbols onto the canvas at the beginning to set the direction of the piece. But I allow spirit and my guides to show me and work through me as often referred to as my muse and finalize the process with a blessing for the painting. The very best pieces in my honest opinion are the ones that feel like they painted themselves. Either it was very quick and or effortless in the creation and that's when I know that spirit truly painted it and like in my shamanic healing sessions it is source creator doing the work and I am simply the hollow bone which channels the energy to come forth on, its phys on this physical plane. Along the way when I began my spiritual path I had been dealing with lifelong depression up to then and a feeling of victimhood. So when I opened myself to the Divine Source Creator, I was able to heal myself from that by changing my mindset and by learning that the energy, hmm, that the thoughts that I was having, the beliefs that I held, were sending out an energy frequency that the universe was matching. And once I became aware of that, life just got magical and I was able to co-create with the universe not by default on 
misbeliefs and situations that had happened to me or someone I loved, um, I was no longer a victim. I became the conscious co-creator and began to change and turn my life around for the better. And I've made it my mission in this life to help others through my healing work, through law of attraction coaching, through the spiritual teachings and guidance that I offer to others. And the spirit led me to artistic creations. Um, and that healing now comes through on the canvas. I want people to know that they're not alone, that they are loved, accepted, and seen by me, by the divine, by others, and that no one needs to suffer. Medicine paintings, for me, can hold the key to healing ourselves of sadness and traumas and even physical diseases within the body. This is done through intention and not only the intention of me as the painter and the creator of the artwork, but also the intention of the person who is buying the art or commissioning this piece from me or perhaps just sees the piece that I created and it speaks to them personally. They are the ones that are channeling that energy to come towards them or that artwork to come towards them so that they can um, receive the, in the intention behind it to, to heal. And medicine paintings, the way that I create them, are created with intention by bringing in divine light and love by infusing the canvas with Reiki healing with the energies. Oftentimes I put the symbols, the Reiki symbols on the canvas. I bring in goddess energies because the goddess is what brought me to art. The goddess is what put me on this magical path to heal. I bring in esoteric symbolism. My work as a shamanic healer and teacher comes through in many of these pieces of art that I create, whether that's from animal medicine or plant medicine or spirit guides coming through. Uh, sometimes the symbols are coming through in a shamanic vision. I bring in codes of light, affirmations, mantras, through the use of color and prayer dots upon the canvas. As a master teacher energy healer, for many years I've offered distance healings. And what that means is that I don't need to be in physical um, proximity to a client. I can hold in my intention the um, connection between us on the ethereal plane. And once that connection has been created, I then can channel the healing energies of whatever they ask me for, whether that's Reiki or a shamanic journey or crystal healing, um, whatever it was that, that they wanted, I then begin to channel that and direct it to them through that connection that was created. So what's, what's happened in the last um, couple of years is that I've really um, embraced the idea of medicine paintings. And instead of sending healing energies out onto the ethereal plane through a connection, I'm channeling it into a canvas and paints and the creation process itself to create a medicine painting. When someone buys a medicine painting from me, that painting then becomes that connection or that bridge between me and them. 
that the energy travels through. So it's like I am actually doing an energy healing for that person. But the great thing is, is that it's not just a half hour or an hour session. That bridge is always there once they buy a medicine painting from me. They can always open themselves up to receive the healing energies that I put into that painting specifically for them. Years from now, they can gaze upon that and open themselves up to receive the energies that was put into that painting through intention, through symbolism, through color, through Reiki, through goddess, through, through symbols. It's all there in the container of the canvas. So a medicine painting is like having your own healer there. One that you had a part of um, creating for yourself by reaching out to an artist to create a medicine painting for you.